beyond them. But he wants to try and overtake Manchester United, who are above them in fifth place. Tottenham sixth, Man United above them. So the FA Cup final wasn't achievement enough. Well, here comes Vinberg, the 21-year-old Swede, with a lovely ball into the area, and England over the top. Wow, what a start from the visitors. What a start from Tottenham. And Bethany England firing over, and she... Mannion. Paris. Paris cuts inside. Lovely ball from Paris to Toon. Toon gets the shot away, but well wide. Well, Ella Toon largely enjoys this fixture. She's had many highs and a few lows as well. In fact, Paris over the lovely ball through, and Toon just couldn't. Evans with the right hand up and knocks it in, left footed, and Mallard with a header! Oh, a beautiful header from Melvin Mallard, look what it means to her! Gemma Evans picked her out with neat precision, and Mallard just ghosted in at the far post to head it beyond Becky Spencer, and Manchester United take an early lead against Tottenham. Her fifth WF hopes of being in the FA Cup final starting lineup, of course, for both these teams. Oh, lovely ball by Naz to Vinberg, who's pulled it well wide of the goal. And a chance from nowhere. Jess Naz did so well to pick out Vinberg. Precision pass. She skewed it across the goal. Crystal Palace could actually win the title today and promotion to the WSL if they beat Lewis. And Mallard turns and gets the shot away. Spencer can't hold on to it. Oh, and just in time, Amanda Nilden got across to clear the loose ball. The flag may have gone up again, actually, but Mallard with a delightful turn. Neville with the loose pass. Lovely turn and low shot. Too hot for Spencer to hold. And Nilden got faded from the Champions League qualification race after their exit from that competition. Thomas with the crossing, which turned in almost to a shot for her. finishing this season. Vinberg. High hanging cross, which drops to Spence. Oh, it's flicked in by Beth England. Well, has the flag gone up on the far side? No, it's stayed down, and the goal counts. Spence hammered it in. Beth England got the touch. United looked across at the offside flag. I think Beth England gave it a glance too. And Tottenham are on level terms just before the half hour mark. Summon it with a short corner. Vinberg with the deep cross. Spence. Smashed it in. Well, did England get a touch? I don't know. But Erps didn't know which way to move because she couldn't be sure whether England would get a touch on it. Drew Spence with the goal, though, and Tottenham looking for a second here. Vinberg, who played a key role in their equaliser, picks out Naz. Naz cuts back inside and gets the shot away. Just Naz puts Tottenham into the lead. A quick fire double from Spurs. They've turned this game on its head. Just over a minute since Drew Spence pulled them level, and Jess Naz has fired Spurs into the lead on a ground they've never won on. Well, she was on the turf just moments before, was Jess Naz. And she quickly got back to her feet. And Finberg did so well to wait for the perfect moment to deliver the pass. Naz still has so much to do, and she did it so well. Brought it back. Turns it to Nolson. Bolton with the high hanging ball, but it's going to drift out of Tottenham throw. In the closing seconds of this first half. Rebecca Welsh does blow her half-time whistle and Tottenham find themselves in the very rare position 
of leading Manchester United. They have never beaten them in the 11 meetings to date. Drew Spence with the shot from the half-time substitution. Hannah Blundell there in shot, the number six, coming on for Aoife Mannion. And United get the second half underway. Cross in, straight into the arms of Spencer. To Blundell. High hanging cross, which ends up in the hands. Of, teases it through to Nolson, lays it off to Blundell. Blundell with the cross in, and Malar was lurking. Really good defending from James Turner. Receives the high fives from Bula and Graham. The Tottenham defender, he got across Malar. And Here's Nelson. Lays it off to Garcia. And it's flicked behind for a corner. Evans with the corner for United, seeking an equaliser. It's headed down by Zellum, and then Spencer with the save. And Tottenham get away with one there. Letizia. And Spencer can come. Here comes Golton. Still Leah Golton, high hanging cross, headed away, knocks back into play and over the top of Neville's head, drops to Golton. Golton with the cross back towards the far post. And volleyed well over the bar in the end. Decent spell of pressure. Ultimately ends up with Nolson knocking it well over the crossbar. And it drops to the Norwegian. Garcia will chase space to charge into Garcia with the cross and Williams dive in with the header. And he's headed behind. Well, when Garcia gets this much room to charge into, you know that at the very least the turner for the United corner, which Zellum takes, hangs it up at the back post and headed wide by Williams, who came charging in late. Zellum, long ball over the top. Garcia will get there. Garcia back towards Galton. But important defensive work again by Nilden, who got a touch on it. But Garcia looking the most likely outlet for United. Well, in fact, it came off. Gets a low cross in. It will drop to Nelson. Zellum with the shots. Headed behind by Graham. Brave clearance from the Tottenham midfielder. Zellum struck it with power. Neat little layoff from Blundell. Wouldn't it? Mary Earps. In it comes. It's well beyond Earps. It's headed onto the bar by Williams. And it's in at the second attempt. United do claim a late, late equaliser. Maya Letizia in the week she signed a new contract with Manchester United. Has headed home from virtually on the goal line to salvage a point right in the nick of time what a header from Rachel Williams and Letizia flew in to head home ski challenge could have resulted in a penalty Letizia the scorer with the cross this time Turner climbs and heads behind Tizia with the high hanging cross. 
Really turn a left. Spencer with the goal kick and the final whistle goes. What an afternoon at Lee Sport Village. If we get an FA Cup final, anything like this, in three weeks' time, we're in for a treat. We would be heading into extra time, of course, if the FA Cup final finishes like this.